So, Amazon screens. There's good, there's bad, and there's absolute trash. We're gonna order a couple of screens off Amazon and see what's good and what's trash. And if we find a good screen that's actually decent, I'll put a link so you guys can buy it if you want to replace your own screen. Ooh, Yoksenta. Cool name. The reviews are a little mixed. Oh well, bye. BSZ4 Oof. Sounds like Elon Musk's son's Tesla. long lost brother. Tesla. Tesla. We'll buy that. E Faith Fix. Cool, I guess. Who's making up these names? Reviews are also extremely mixed. I mean, extremely. Let's buy it. This one does not have a cool name, but it's from the ZTR store. Reviews are actually pretty decent here. I have faith in this one. Let's buy it. The Amazon screens are on the way. And while the Amazon guy is running over people to get here, hopefully he's not doing that. Uh, are you subscribed to this channel? You're not subscribed to this channel? That's unacceptable. Uh, leave a like as well so I can make more of these. Thank you. We got a package. So we got the Amazon screens in. It's time to test them out one by one and see which one is trash and which one you should pay cash for. So the way we're gonna be testing these screens is with this screen tester. This device is called the test box and it can test basically any iPhone screen. The first screen we're gonna be doing is the Yoksinta. Okay, this is our Yoksinta screen, fragile. Okay, interesting box choice, not bad. Let's open this up and see what we're dealing with. Okay, this actually looks pretty decent. We have the water resistant slash dust proof seal. We have cheap uh, tools that I don't recommend anybody ever uses. And we have the screen. So right off the bat, it does not come with the camera bracket, which is pretty important for a good repair. And it also doesn't come with the backplate, which is not absolutely necessary. But the screens that do come with the backplate make your life a hundred times easier. We have double-sided adhesive. So when you do put the backplate, you can adhere it easily. And the flex cables feel a little bit cheap, but nothing too bad so far. So we're gonna plug in the screen and test it out with our tester. Anyway, so we're gonna go through the colors and see if everything looks okay. So far the display looks okay. It seems to be a little bit more pixelated than what an original would look like. I'm also noticing that the bottom bezel is a little bit thicker than the original, which is common for aftermarket, but this one is a little too thick. So as I'm testing the touch, this blue line stays on the screen. And as soon as it detects that the touch is off, the blue line will disappear. So what we're looking for is to see if the blue line disappears when I'm still touching the screen. So the touch appears to be okay. It is a little bit spotty and a little bit less sensitive than original, but it's nothing too, too noticeable. I am noticing though that the screen is really hot. I'm not sure why, but it's really hot right over here. Now we're gonna test this out on an actual iPhone and see if it's responsive to touch and if it's actually usable. Right off the bat, the colors do look a little bit off, but nothing crazy. The screen is still really overheating and that's that concerns me. The screen should not overheat that much. We're gonna do a typing test because when you're typing, that is when you notice any defects or any touch issues. So the touch is definitely less sensitive than original, which is to be expected, but typing on this is not the greatest thing. Um, if the screen didn't overheat this much, I would probably give this screen like a 6 or a 7. But because of how hot this screen is getting, I'm gonna have to give it a 4. Yoksinta, you're trash. Next up is the Basuv. BS4 Uv. So Basuv has some very nice packaging. Looks pretty cool. They have better quality screwdrivers, which uh, always a plus. And let's check out the screen. So it comes with a, this is one of the, uh, I thought it was the, the, 
Anyway, this is, oh, we have a winner. Hopefully the quality of this is good because this comes with the back plate like I was talking about. So that makes your life a hundred times easier. And it comes with the camera bracket, which is a lifesaver. So Basuv, you're already winning right now. I'm proud of you. Basuv also comes with some uh, warnings and they use Blizz. So these tools are great. They're better than the other tools. And it actually comes with another camera bracket. So far, Basuv is doing really well. Now we're gonna test the Basuv out and see if the quality is good. But so far, everything else is really good. And it's not heating up like the other one, so that's great. Wow, the touch is very accurate and very responsive. So I have the screen installed on my phone. We're gonna do a test to see if the keyboard is responsive. So I did the type test on the screen and I have to say, it's actually a pretty good aftermarket screen. Nothing bad that I could find. Obviously the bigger notches or whatever. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 and I, I would pay cash for the screen. Next up, we have eFaith Fix. They have some interesting packaging. Get this guy off. No, nah, I'm not gonna do it. And that is a, hey, how you doing? That is our display. So this screen also comes with the back plate, the uh, bracket, and the flex cables feel really cheap. So let's test this out and see how it does. So aside from the flex cables feeling cheap, this one is pretty much performing the same as the last one, the BSU. So they might be from the same manufacturer. We're gonna do the typing test and move on to the next one. We're gonna do the type test real quick. So this screen feels exactly the same as the last. The only thing is the flex cable felt a lot cheaper. Some factories cheap out on the flex cable and I think they did with this one. But overall, this is still a good screen. I'm gonna have to give this a seven out of 10. I would pay some cash for this. Last but not least, we have our Yoxinta. Oh. Uh, so the first one was actually the ZTR. This is Yaxinta. I'm not sure how we messed that up. Um, sorry, Yaxinta. We'll, we'll give you a second chance. We'll see if you're trash or we should pay cash. Okay. Comes with our seal, screen protector, and our screen. We have our camera bracket and we have our back plate. So we're all good on that. Let's test this out and let's see how it does. We're gonna do another type test and see what Yuxinta can do. So the touch is okay, but the refresh rate seems to be pretty low. So I'm gonna probably give this a six and a half out of 10. Yuxinta, I'm sorry to have uh, roasted you in the beginning. I gave you redemption and you did not pass the test. All right guys, so maybe Amazon screens aren't as bad as I thought they were, or maybe it's just America, they're better, but oh well. So out of these four, I definitely recommend the Basuv. Hands down the best out of the few. This one, the ZTR, absolutely no go. Terrible, trash. These two are so, sort of equivalent uh, in quality, but the Basuv definitely dominates this race. So if you are gonna buy a screen, uh, you can buy this one. I'll leave a link down in the description. Now, just because the XR screen is good doesn't mean their other screens are good. Um, every screen has different quality, so just be wary of that. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna throw these all in the garbage and I'll see you guys in the next one.